हाय फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार सिलेक्टर सब क्रिएटर सो आर यू फेसिंग इश्यूज वाइल यूजिंग सिलेक्टर सब लाइक आफ्टर इंस्टॉलिंग सिलेक्टर अब यू नॉट एबल टू सी इट इन टैब टूल्स नॉट एबल टू फाइंड इट लाइक वेयर इट इज दैट टैब इट इज़ नॉट वर्किंग एज एक्सपेक्टेड और यू आर नॉट एबल टू सी लाइक ऑटो सजेस्ट फीचर्स यू आर नॉट गेटिंग वैल्यूज इन ड्रॉप डाउन नॉट वर्किंग फॉर सैडो डॉम आई फ्रेम एंड इफ एनी इशू Uh, I will try to cover all those issues in this uh, tutorial, and uh, and hope you will find it useful. So, yeah. So let's see. First thing, like after installing, you uh, if you are not able to find the selector sub logo here, so click on this. So this is actually basically a default feature from the Chrome now, that all the extensions which you will install, you won't be seeing those icons here, extension icon by default. There's a like a uh, high level extension icon is here top level if you click on that whatever extension you will have installed those will list down here and you can pin those extension which you want to see here so you just click on this now you will be able to see it here you can click on this so these are like information about selector sub now after installing like uh, please restart the browser once so actually i have before installed so no problem already did it click on inspect any element you can inspect so you see here you can see the couple of tabs here and these tabs we used to call as sidebar tabs okay so here on the left side elements tab is there when you are able to see the dom there on the right side that time you will be able to see these sidebars so the selector sub is not visible here it is supposed to show here so if you are not able to see that there are two more uh, two arrow icons that means there is something more here if you click on that there in the drop down you will find the selector sub tab if you expand if you are better you just expand this to get the better view and all the tabs will be visible here so you can see the selector sub is the last sidebar tab now you can click on it and you are ready to go now you can just start simply typing and you will get all those uh, information here and as soon as you press that uh, type you start typing it will start auto suggesting sometimes it could be like uh, you didn't get the immediately like uh, auto suggest for that particular element which you have inspected if you face any challenges uh, like right now we are getting all all of them so it is fine if you're not able to get just inspect other element and for whichever element you want to get the drop down just inspect that element here for whichever element basically you want to write the selector just inspect that element and after that it will start suggesting all those attributes of and related uh, parameter values for that particular element here and you would be able to write the selector for that particular element if you refresh the browser refresh the window and uh, you see the immediately it will like whichever element will be inspected it will auto suggest for that element like body was inspected and if it doesn't like just uh, either inspect some other element and then you just type it you will get all everything like whatever you want to write okay so this is how you can uh, so this is where you will find the selector sub tab and this is how you can use it simple now many times like uh, you type something and you face this kind of error so it will suggest you the invalid x bar missing so here you see that what is missing it's suggesting the square close square bracket is missing if any other problem will be there it will suggest and sometimes it will not give you any kind of like error message what what is missing but it will at least tell you that this is invalid x path or invalid css so if something is not invalid and everything is fine then it's fine like you see invalid css selector semicolon not allowed at this place so yes then uh, like for iframes so if you inspect any element and if that element will be inside iframe it will immediately highlight if you open selector sub it will immediately highlight that this is inside iframe in iframe and you can start typing your selector sometimes you will 
find some uh, few iframes where it will not work like this so basically those iframes which are from uh, different iframe source from different source basically and for to be from the same origin actually we should say the same origin an iframe to be from the same origin should have the same source like source protocol port everything that all should match then only i we uh, we can say that this is from the same source or same uh, origin if it is not from the same source then we can't inject the script inside those iframe for the security reason browser doesn't allow so in that case it uh, selector sub won't be able to uh, work for those elements which are from which are in those iframe which are from different origin or source so you if you type here it will not suggest the drop down okay so don't worry we are trying uh, hard i'm um, just trying hard to make it fix and to find some work around for this but but if you have inspected any element here let's say outside and you start typing here that then immediately it will start suggesting working everything now if you inspect any element which is inside iframe that time whatever auto suggest will come that will be for the previous element which you have inspected okay so don't get confused if it is xpath says a selector here in the title that means it is having the access of the parent dom this one the top level dom and if it is having the uh, iframe here that means this is having the access of iframe dom if you have to verify any element which is outside iframe then you have to inspect this inspect any element which is outside iframe and if you want to understand more in detail there is a, a separate tutorial tutorial for iframe feature so you can go through that for more details likewise uh, for the shadow dom many times you will see like uh, you will find uh, that if an element is inside shadow dom then uh, selector sub every time most of the time it will work in some cases it will not work the region there are two types of shadow dom actually one is from the same uh, same source uh, one is from the uh, there are two types of shadow dom actually one is shadow root open and one is shadow root closed open closed so if an uh, element is inside a shadow dom which is which is from the uh, open shadow dom let me show you here open shadow root open yeah so here if you see this element this shadow root open so if this is a kind of element if there are element which are inside these kind of shadow root where it is open then it will work perfectly it will show you that in shadow dom but if it is inside some kind of it was actually inside shadow root let me just refresh so if it is inside a shadow root which is closed which is having closed then it will not work in that case i'm just trying if it shows okay here was some element was which was shadow inside shadow root okay it's not showing now anyways so if it is closed here like this is open if it is closed then it will not work in that case so don't worry about that because the region is again same that uh, that are introduced closed uh, type of shadow root is introduced to not inject the script inside those kind of shadow root and uh, and one cannot access those elements so that is again blocked from the browser side and that is the feature of that kind of shadow root so that will not work so these are some limitations apart from this it should work all the time everywhere everything and if you have any challenges anything it will uh, feel free to reach out to me and don't forget like uh, shadow dom for shadow dom expert doesn't work and or you can say like shadow dom doesn't support uh, 
xpar for more details there is another video tutorial for sadodom so you can refer that and i hope like all this will be really helpful for you and uh yep so that's pretty much and if you have any feedback or any question you can just directly connect with me here on slack feel free to ask anything or reach out to me anytime and if you have any issue if you found any bug you can raise here on git also don't forget to add the review i would request you like if you can donate something uh, that will be really helpful for me to earn my bread and butter because i'm working on this tool only which is absolutely free for community and i'm 100% full time working for community so your small contribution will help me a lot and yeah with that thank you so much and please share it with uh, community and with everyone and help them to save a lot of time yeah thank you thank you so much